Hello everyone. Today we create a script that allows to change title blocks on specified sheets. We will generate a list of sheets as well as a drop-down list of all title block families available in the project. There is a native Revit way of selecting one title block instance, then selecting all in the project and changing family type. However, if you need to be more specific with which sheet title block to change, I hope this script will assist you with this task. For today's script, we would use two extra packages, Clockwork and Datashapes. Let's get started. To start with, we need to get all available title block families in the project. Search for categories and select title blocks. Then search for all family types of category node from Clockwork package and connect category to category input. Create a group and name it one dot get all title blocks in the project. From now, we would add a number identification for each group to make it easier to navigate. Now let's create a drop-down list of all title block types. Search for drop-down data node from data shapes package. Get element.name node and connect family types output to it. Then connect names to keys input and family types to values input. Create a code block and type title block types and connect it to input name. Create a group and name it two.titleBlockFamiliesUIData. Now let's get all sheets in the project. Search for Categories node, select Sheets and get all elements of Category node as well. Create a group and name it free.getAllSheets in the project. For the second part of the UI window, we need to generate a list of all sheets in the list. Search for list view data node. Create a code block and type list of sheets and connect it to input name. Then on next row, type 500 and connect it to height. Get a boolean and connect it to show ID input. Search for sheet.titleBlock node. It allows us to know which title block is applied to each sheet. We need to bring everything on the same list level as well. Search for list.flatten node. Connect flatten list to values input. Also search for sheet.sheet name and sheet.sheet number nodes. Create a code block and type a plus quotes dash plus b plus quotes dash plus c. Connect sheet number to a, sheet name to b, and flatten list to c. If you press run, we now have a combined name of sheets with its numbers, names and current title block applied. Connect code block to keys input. Create a group and name it 4.sheets title block UI data. Now we need to combine these two data inputs. Get list.create and connect outputs from both group 2 and 4. Search for multiple input form node and connect combined list to inputs. Get boolean, switch it to true and connect to toggle. Create a code block and type select sheets with title block to be replaced and connect to description. On the next row, type replace title block and connect to button text. After that, type cancel and connect to cancel button. And the last one, type 800 and connect to width. Create a group and name it 5.main UI window. Now the final bit is to execute the task of changing title box on specified sheets. Create a code block and type x square bracket 0 and on the next row type x square brackets 1. This means that we are getting items at index 0 and index 1 from the multiple input form node. If you press run, you would see the UI window where we can select these values. After we press change title block, the form would give us the new title block at index 0 and select sheets at index 1. Search for set parameter by name node and connect output at index 1 to element and output at index 0 to value. Create a code block, type type and connect to parameter name. Create a group and name 6.change title block. And now the script is done. Save it and let's test it with Dino Player. When you run the script, you could see our UI window. Let's select a new title block and sheets where we want to change it. 
if we run the script again, you would see a list with updated type block information. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.